Hi! By now, you probably heard that in June 2021, Google will start ranking websites also by speed. In short, making sure your site is fast will give it a ranking advantage. In this video, I want to show you that it's actually pretty easy to build a new site with dynamic, advanced features and still keep it fast. And not only that, you will see that using WPML to create multilingual sites doesn't impact the performance at all. Here's what I want to build. A store powered by WooCommerce with a nice homepage, custom product search, and a custom single product template. As I add features to my store, I'll check how they impact the overall performance of our site and what to pay attention to. I will show you every step of the way, but to avoid making this video too long, I used editing to speed up some parts. Ok, let's do it! To understand how website performance works, let's quickly see how a browser even loads a page. First, you click to go to a website and your browser asks DNS where is this page hosted. DNS gives it the service IP address, telling it how to reach it. Then, your browser contacts that server and asks for the page content. The server replies and the time it takes to reply is a very good indicator of how fast the hosting is. Your browser then gets the page content and sees what other resources it needs to load. The browser then again searches the DNS to find the IPs of all the different resources that the page requires. For example, Google Fonts and all other resources that are hosted somewhere else add to the loading time on this step. And finally, the browser gets all these required resources. If it's getting a lot of resources requested by many different plugins, again, it will add to the loading time on this step. The site I used in this video is hosted on Amazon Lightsail with one of the smaller hosting packages. But still, its response time is around 0.5 seconds, which is pretty good so you can use that as a reference when searching for a good hosting service. Using a good hosting service is important because there is no site optimization you can do that will make up for a slow shared hosting. Ok, I start with a blank WordPress installation running the default 2021 theme. Here's the front end. But as I'll be adding features to my site, I'll need help to keep it fast. There are two simple but powerful ways to do this. First, use a cache plugin and second, use a CDN service. I will use the WP Rocket cache plugin. It's a great solution that's easy to set up. We're also using it on our WPML and toolset sites. After activating it, I go to Settings, WP Rocket. Let me walk you through the most important settings. Don't worry, if you use another optimization plugin, you will find most of these settings as they are pretty standard. Under the cache section, I enable the option to use separate cache files for mobile devices. And I will also enable caching for logged in users. Under file optimization, I enable the options for minifying and combining CSS files and for minifying JavaScript files as well. Under Media, I enable Lazy Load for images and iframes and videos. Under Preload, I activate Preloading and Link Preloading. And finally, I'll activate the CDN option. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network, which means that your content is synced across servers around the globe. When visitors come to your site, CDN service makes sure that things like images are loaded from the server that is nearest to the user. You'll have to set up the CDN service app yourself, so it's out of the scope of this video. But there are great tutorials out there with all the details. Here, I use the CloudFront service, but there are many great options. All I have to do here in the settings is paste the CNAME I got from my CDN service and I'm set. Ok, now the site should be ready for the next steps. But let's check its performance so we can see how it changes with adding features. To measure performance, I'll use Google Page Insights. I just paste the URL of my site and wait for the results. Nice! 99 out of 100 points. Well, it's a blank site after all. Testing for mobile devices is the default and as the web is mobile first today, this is what you should be looking at. If you're good for mobile, you'll be good for desktop. 
Below the results, you can find more information about potential improvements you could apply to the site. Now, let's activate a theme. I chose the popular Astra theme as it's fast and looks good with all types of content, including WooCommerce stuff. Let's check the results again. Cool! As you can see, a good theme doesn't impact the performance of your site. But there are certain theme options and features that can impact the performance. A very simple but good example of this is changing the main font. Look, I go to the Appearance Customize page and go to the settings for selecting the main site typography. Themes usually allow you to choose from a large number of fonts, for example, from the Google Font Library. Let's select a font called Fire Ascense and save. I'll check the performance again. And look, you can see that just selecting a Google Font took us 4 points. I'll change it back to Helvetica, which is a system font and doesn't need to get loaded from the server. Such fonts are also called web safe fonts, so Google that and you'll get a full list. Ok, so let's start adding features to my homepage. It's just an empty page and first I'll add a nice hero section on the top. I used the built-in cover block for this. Let's fast forward, but in essence I select a nice background image, add a gradient overlay and then add a title, some text below it and my call to action button. And here it is on the front end. Pretty nice. Please note that I did some simple customization for the site's header to make it transparent and I added a logo. Let's check the performance again. Ok, I added some static content with an image of a reasonable size so the performance remains steady. Good, let's continue with activating WooCommerce, an important plugin for my site. Of course, I'll need some products, so in this case I'll import some test ones. And let's check the performance now that I have WooCommerce set up. Ok, so my score went down for 2 points, but it's still great. As I want to add custom features to my site, like list of posts and custom product searches, I need some plugins. In this case, I activate Toolset Types, Toolset Blocks and Toolset WooCommerce Blocks. Let's check the performance. Ok, so these three powerful plugins took down only 2 points. Cool, we're still doing great and now we have all the plugins we need. Let's add the next section to my page with some static images and some marketing text. I'll fast forward again, but what I'm doing is adding another cover block with a 4 column grid. And each grid cell has a little icon image and a little heading. Here it is on the front end. Cool. And let's check the performance. Well, it seems our score is even better for one point. No, it's not because of the content we just added. Actually, it's normal for the score to fluctuate a bit. This can be due to server load or a number of other reasons. Ok, let's now do something a bit more advanced and display a custom list of newest products. I can easily do this by inserting a toolset view block. I select that I want to display products and then simply insert blocks for displaying different product information like the image, title, price and add to cart button. I adjust the styling a bit, limit the list to 4 items and add a nice heading. And here it is on the front end. Let's check the performance again. Ok, so now we lost some points, but not much. Remember, we're now doing a custom query of WooCommerce products, so naturally our site needs to work a bit more. But we're still nice and green. Next, let's try something different and insert a YouTube video. As you know, embedded videos load additional resources, so let's see. I insert the toolset YouTube block and adjust it a tiny bit. Ok, here it is on the front end, looking nice. Of course, let's check the performance and… 
Well, it's even a tad faster than before. So, adding a YouTube video through Toolset's block didn't impact the performance at all. Pretty cool. Our homepage is virtually complete. So let me show you something else. I created a separate page where I'll put a custom product search that allows visitors to easily find products they need. I do this in the very same way as I did the list of newest products with the addition of search fields. Let's completely fast forward and here is the finished list of products with a custom search. And here it is on the front end. Let's check the performance of this page. Okay, so this page has 88 points. That's still great when we consider that the page loads a bunch of products with a custom product search on top. Now that I created my custom search, I can complete my home page by inserting the search box into it. I just insert the toolset view block, select the view with the search I created and make it only display the search box. Here it is on the front end. And let's check the performance again. Cool, our site is still fast and in the green. Okay, so the last feature that's important to my store is to design a custom template for displaying my single product pages. This is Astra's theme default output for a single product. Let's check its performance. Okay, I am at a green 90 points. Now I'll create a custom template. I go to Toolset Dashboard and click the button to create a template for products. Just like with a custom list of posts, I use dynamic blocks to display different product information. Here's the finished template. And here it is on the front end. Let's check the performance. Nice, it's even a bit faster when using Toolset. So, finally, let's introduce WPML to our site. We can see how and if it will influence performance. I activate WPML score, string translation and translation management plugins. Of course, I need to configure WPML options as well. Oh yes, WPML setup wizard reminded me that I forgot to install WooCommerce Multilingual. Cool, so yes, we'll let it install that as well. After setting everything up, Let's first check if new plugins changed performance. Ok, so the performance went down only by one point, which is basically negligible. Let's translate our homepage. On the translation management page, I add it to the translation basket. And then I send the basket for translation. Finally, I go to the translation tools tab and send this page to automatic translation, which is super quick. But wait, I also need to translate my products. Ok, let's do them as well. On the translation management dashboard, I filter for products and then send them to the basket. Finally, I use bulk translation to automatically translate them all. And here is my homepage. Let's switch to French and voila! Of course, let's check performance. And as you can see, there is no impact on performance coming from WPML. A page in another language performs the same as the one in the original language. So there you have it. Performance can be a bit tricky at first, but it's not that hard. Just remember the main ingredients for a fast site. Good hosting, good optimization plugin, Use the CDN service to serve your images and other files. And of course, avoid adding unnecessary plugins and use the ones that are fine-tuned for good performance, like WPML and Toolset. Thank you for watching.